Michael Brown, that was an Akata. His daddy is an Akata. And it's a shame. Because his daddy, so he was just like destined. I always said any celebratory of Cum Guzzler Harris uh, by these mammies is all fake and phony. Because if, if any of these mammies supported that whore. <laughs> nation. One nation. But joy coming Come to the Come on, Joe! We will get through this We gonna get together. through this together, y'all. Together. <laughs> Ooh, Joe, we gonna get through this together. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> no, y'all ain't, y'all ain't even considered. Y'all ain't even in the boat. <laughs> I'm Axel of AxeTruth.com and this is the Axe Truth channel. And this video is for, is a open message to Mammy Eva. Eva Marcel Sterling, formerly known as Eva Pigford. She's uh, the winner of America and she won America's Top, her claim to fame was America's Top Model Season 3. And Yaya DaCosta was her runner up, you know, and they had, you know, pretty you know, he had, a, uh, I guess, <laughs> somewhat of a career. Not not much, but she did a little modeling there and a few acting gigs and a few things with Tyler Perry, some Chitlin Circuit things. But, you know, I have her in my opening. And this I decided to do this video to her, you know, to, to try to help her. <laughs> you know, all video sound and music used during this broadcast falls under fair use. Fair use is allowed for the purpose of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe on copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Eva, dear Eva, uh, you got a video clip that somehow, I don't know how I got it, but I got it. And I put it in my opening of you crying and saying, come on, Joe, we're going to get through this together. And you just made a fool of yourself. <laughs> and you need to, I don't know what, you, you need to do something. <laughs> because this is not, it's not a good look for you. You're not going to be able to live it down or you're going to come back out and say, you know, I messed up, you know. Because um, I really, I'm trying to understand what is it that you wanted, uh, what is it that we, we were getting through? And you were crying. <laughs> you know, I, you was teared up. But let's just reminisce. Nation. One nation. But joy coming Come to the Come on, Joe! We will get through this We gonna together. get through this together, y'all. Together. As one nation. Look at this mammy. She's absolutely crying with these braids in her head. Tell my, come on, Joe. We're gonna get through this together. Mammy Eva. Um, maybe you don't know. Maybe you weren't paying attention. You didn't know anything about Joe. You just a Democrat just by proxy of being black. <laughs> and that's what you have to do in the entertainment industry. You got to be a Democrat. You know, your husband had a failed run at mayor here. You know, he may, he, it, 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 it seemed like to me if he wants to be successful in politics, he better change parties. If maybe you haven't uh, noticed, Eva, you maybe need to go read a book um, and get politically astute. Uh, democratic policies are failures. Uh, there is nothing good about Joe Biden, and we've been in uh, in this mess. You know, we're gonna get through this together. So I don't know what was you crying about, but let me give you. Let's play devil's advocate here. Maybe you were talking about the pandemic. Maybe you're talking about that. <laughs> let's say you were talking about uh, the COVIDs. <laughs> okay, but um, um, okay, but let's just go, let's just go and see what we, what we have had so far under Joe. We had inflation, hyperinflation. Look at it. Gas is up 49%, <laughs> fuel 59%, 59% natural gas, 28%, um, you know, and energy prices. Let's just go with that. Let's just start with energy prices. We were uh, under Trump, under Trump, President Trump, we had no supply chain issues We Crime wasn't rampant. Gas wasn't re was reasonably low. 
And most of all, the cost of living was manageable and we were a net exporter of energy. We were exporting oil. When Joe came in, uh, we went from exporting oil oil to um, importing it again. (laughs) And that's where our energy prices went up. And that affects everything. So I'm trying to, you know, let's just go with that, you know, um, you know, and not consider and and not to mention that Joe Biden wrote the crime bill, um, uh, the 1994 crime bill that uh, put a lot of black men in prison, black people in prison. So but, you know, that's just like uh, too much details for a person like you to even know that, because, you know, even if you did know that you would still go that route. But you said we're going to get through this together. So I'm trying to figure out what are we getting through? Uh, because all, uh, we have had nothing but um, hyperinflation. Let's see. What, let's look at what jo- Joe's done since he's been in office. The Afghanistan crisis, the border crisis, the economic crisis, the energy crisis, the supply chain crisis, lawlessness, defunding of the police, CRT ch- tr- uh, the CRT teaching hatred and bigotry in schools. That's what's been going on under Joe Biden. But we're going to get through this together. So I guess you were talking about maybe maybe you were just crying and teared up behind the pandemic. Let's just go there. <laughs> OK, but um, uh, but let's uh, but we have this supply chain shortage that right now what's trending or what's been trending all day has been bare shelves by. No, we didn't have any bare shell shelves under Trump. Could you imagine if we had. Uh, this going on under Trump, what the media will be saying, you know, we didn't have any of this. We had actually, we had good, um, you know, jobs were coming back. We had more jobs than we had people to fill them. People, um, uh, actual, my dog's in here, actual, um, uh, people were getting, uh, salaries were increased under Trump and now under Biden, you know, nobody wants to go back to work. Places are, uh, places, it's very hard to even find good help to work but we're going to get through this together so you said and you was crying and i'm trying to understand where them tears came from i mean i guess you're talking about the pandemic maybe you're talking about that you know so let's go to the pandemic but but before we go to the pandemic let's look at the supply chain shortage that joe Joe biden and his administration oh there's nothing going on so i'm visiting some family and uh this is joe biden's no supply chain issues at all This is the no issues with supply chain Joe Biden while Pete Buttigieg and everyone else is sitting on vacation and sitting in Delaware on the beach. This is what we have. Empty shelves. This is the Joe Biden America. So that are we getting through that together? I mean, what? Um, and let's, let's have a look at some of these bare shelves here. This is Target. Aldi and Dollar Tree in Pittsburgh right here. We're going to look up here on the screen right here. Um, right here. This is uh, the bare shells and I guess the Aldi's right here. This is the Dollar Tree. Target. Target. Bare, bare shelves. Okay. So I'm trying to understand Miss Eva Sterling. Uh, what were you crying about? What, how are we going to get through this together? Was it the pandemic? Maybe it was the pandemic. So let's just go to the pandemic. You know, Joe Biden did come out and say that there was um, uh, nothing, he, no federal solution for the pandemic after saying that he had a, he had a, uh, he had a plan. See, right here. We're eight months into the pandemic. Donald Trump is still, doesn't, still doesn't have a plan to get the virus under control. I do. Well, that's kind of weird because right here in his first month, over 100,000 people in the United States had died from coronavirus in Biden's first month. Okay, but and but nevertheless, we've had more deaths and uh, from the pandemic under resident Joe Biden. And that's post vaccine. More deaths 
than they were under Trump. But remember, Joe Biden said that uh, um, he had a plan. He also said, folks, <laughs> Trump, does, he said this twice in the debate, folks, Donald Trump doesn't have a plan to get the virus under control. I do. That he said that in October and November. Then in 2021, this was the first time he went to the first thing he said that cow, that he backed away from it. He said, folks, there is nothing I can do to change the, the trajectory of the pandemic in the next several months. He said that I think within like two, it was like two months after he was in office. He said that. He said that in 2021. Uh, uh, no, he said that way. They, they said 2021. I believe he said that before the end of 20. Uh, yeah, he said it in 12. Yes, he said that in 2021, like in February, or uh, March of 2021. That's when he said that. There was nothing he can do to change the trajectory of the pandemic, which, you know, there's nothing a president can do about a virus, you know, yeah, but, but that was what the media and the Democrats ran on, that they could fix it. <laughs> and they could stop it. And here we are. But here we are. Okay, but uh, let's let you hear it from his mouth. Look, there is no federal solution. This gets solved at a state level. Look, there is no federal solution. This gets solved at a state level. Look, there is no federal solution. This gets solved at a state level. Look. There is no federal solution. This gets solved at the state level. There's nothing he can do to change the trajectory of the pandemic. So if that was, is that what you was crying over, Eva? We're going to get through this, the pandemic together. How? And how is Joe, was Joe going to do it? Because I'm trying to understand where them tears came from. See, now you got to go face a lot of, you know, you got to, I, I know you got other, I, Mammy friends. I guess your mammy friends all are still ch cheering for Joe. But, you know, really, nobody's cheering for Joe or come Guzzala Harris. You know, she even said it. She even said that she had a plan. You see right here? Donald Trump still doesn't have a plan to defeat the coronavirus. But Joe and I do. And as of uh, 1-4-22... <laughs> The U.S. tops 1 million coronavirus infections in tw just 24 hours, doubling the figure from just four days ago, setting a global record. Where is this plan and how are we getting through this together, Eva? Uh, Eva, you made a fool of yourself with that video clip and you need to try to figure out how you're going to, you know, like redeem yourself or explain yourself. What were these tears for, 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 for? Why? What was it that we was going through that brought you to tears for Joe Biden? The segregationist, the racist, because that's what, exactly what that is. But maybe, you you know, but you maids and mammies on the plantation, y'all don't care about that. Y'all, y'all kiss the, y'all kiss Massa's ass over there, <laughs> you know. But you're going to have to live this. You got to go around more black people because a lot of black people do not like Joe Biden. So you got to live this down that you were sitting here crying and cheering on. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe, to do what? Because Joe ain't thinking about you, Shines. He didn't told y'all. He said it. He said it. He said it's more Hispanics in this country, and you better learn to get along with them. It's more of them than there are y'all. You want to hear it? Here it is. By 2040. This country is going to be minority white European. You hear me? Minority white European. And you guys are going to have to start working more with Hispanics, who make up a larger portion of the population. Y'all do. By 20. <laughs> That's your come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Come on in here. And he told you right there. And this is right after he was put in office. <laughs> He told the, he was talking to these black people, these um, shines that came to see what was he going to do since he in there. Y'all, you know, we did it, Joe. <laughs> the we did it, Joes. <laughs> he said, well, y'all got to get along with the Hispanics. It's more them than y'all, yeah. <laughs> you, see where, you see where it's coming from now. But uh, Eva, I'm so disappointed in the fact that, that, that you made a fool of yourself. Buster, you made a fool of yourself doing a video 
cheering on Joke Biden and saying, we're going to get through this together. I want to know, what were you talking about? Getting through what? It couldn't have been the pandemic because we're still here. (laughs) And it's worse. And everything else is worse. I feel, you know, I I think you need to go read a book and then just get off the internet. Uh, You know, Joe Joe Biden was gifted with the vaccine coming into office. He had something already in play to post to help stop the spread. (laughs) But for some reason, it hasn't done that either. According to the, okay, according to a famous business school's budget, Many Americans will be will spend five thousand five hundred more, five thousand five hundred more in twenty twenty two just to maintain their current standard of living. The study suggests low income families will be affected disproportionately. The study estimates that lower income families will have to spend one or two percent more money than higher income families. This hyper, this inflation that's going on and the rise in energy prices hurt low income people more than any, anybody in this country. And that's black people. And you're black. Your husband's black. Y'all are Democrats and you voted for this shit and you cheer this shit and you claim you care about black people. This is why I call you guys, you, you black women on the Democrat plantation, nothing but, your, nothing but a bunch of maids and mammies. That's all you are. This is sad that I have this video in my introduction of you making a complete fool out of yourself. Dear Eva, you need to straighten this out. You need to answer this because you have made a fool of yourself. A complete fool of yourself. Put your comments below, everyone. Share the video. Get this over to Eva because I know she's going to see it. (laughs) Don't ignore it. You need to straighten this out because this is not a good look for Eva the diva. (laughs) Because you like Eva the diva dummy. (laughs) The dummy mammy. So, dear mammy Eva, straighten this out because right now you look like a straight up fool. The one world government, you can't make war with that. Why? There's no government to go against it. It consumes the world, but not God's elect. This is where you've got to understand, and this is why you've got to have strong faith, is to know as long as God is with you, who can be against you? Nobody. As long as you are armed with the sword of the Lord, the truth, and you understand what's happening in the world, God protects you. You and he make a majority. And you can count on that. You can believe it. Uh, 